Well, the, the, the office in Austin was a, was a journey. I mean, it was years of um, conversations and um, inequitable outcomes, unfortunately, that led to the need for us to elevate the focus on, on equity in Austin. And we had seen uh, the development, as you were aware, Austin is a very prosperous community, uh, but the development uh, led to displacement in many cases, particularly where um, members of the minority community had historically lived. They were li losing that neighborhood character and affordability. And so I had to, had to leave, as well as there were some other unfortunate outcomes uh, regarding public safety. And, uh, and we just saw the, the gap widening in, in several other areas, although the city overall, to look at it on paper, was a very, very prosperous community. And so uh, the city had to be very deliberate about leading um, the, uh, being the lead voice for equity, but we knew that we could not do it alone. There were a lot of collaborators in the community, both on the public and the private sector side, to help with that office. And so the first thing we did, though, we, we couldn't um, expect equitable outcomes in other organizations without doing our own inventory. And so uh, we established the office made sure that it was visible, reporting to the city manager's office, and um, did an assessment of every department of operations and outcomes and developing a, using an equity lens, and ultimately it culminated in, in the budget process. And that's similar to what uh, we've experienced here, but it took us um, years to accomplish that in Austin. And uh, we got a big head start um, coming here because for, I was fortunate to learn uh, from uh, the things that went well in Austin and things that did not go well and uh, use that as a catapult for, for the budget conversations here.